River mechanics and sedimentation expert, Professor H.W. Shen of the University of California at Berkeley was selected to conduct a three-year physical and numerical modeling study to examine restoration alternatives. Though Shen has worked on projects as large, for example, the Aswan Dam in Egypt, Kissimmee was a challenge. The difficulty of conducting any physical model test is trying to duplicate the field situation. We have gone through a great deal to collect field data and then collect data from other laboratory studies to define the roughness for this model. This is the largest physical model in the study, a 60 by 80 foot duplicate of the stretch of the Kissimmee, built with painstaking attention to detail. Shen and his assistants can see what happens if flows increase in volume and intensity, as would happen typically during South Florida's rainy season. Small floats make their way down this model river, moving past sensors which transmit measurements of the water's flow. Using this model, computers can gauge and predict how much and where the river's flow will be changed by varying flow rates and patterns by using dams, weirs, plugs, or backfill. With this information, scientists can predict with certainty what's likely to happen under a variety of conditions. Much of the district's and the state's collective knowledge of the river is incorporated in this scale model. Shen's and other river studies are essentially completed. With the information they've provided, alternative designs for restoration have been drawn up. In all cases, it's been recommended that the canal's depth be reduced from 30 feet to 10 to 15 feet. This is a hypothetical representative section of the river. It shows how the river will look if no new changes are made. Dashes depict navigation routes. An alternative involving minimal change would require the installation of a number of weirs like those already installed in the district's demonstration project. These weirs would be gated so that they could be opened or closed to control flows. More extensive change would be made to the channelized river by the installation of earthen plugs, which would act as weirs, redirecting water onto the floodplain. If the third alternative is selected, almost half the canal will be filled in to restore lost floodplains and river bends. An almost equal portion of C38 would be left to serve as a link between the restored sections. The most extensive restoration alternative involves almost total backfilling of the canal known as C38. In this alternative, the river would move back onto a course almost exactly the same as it had been before channelization. To link the old river bends or oxbows, some man-made river bends would be created. Berms or containment levees would ensure flood protection. Concerns surrounding restoration center on uncertainties or differences of opinion about the scope of restoration and how much should be spent to reverse the channelization.